Hello, my friend. Welcome to Indoor Virtual Cycling. Jump on your bike. Let's get going. We have a 45 minute ride ahead of us. This ride is going to explore faster cadence. We're gonna to try to keep our legs moving at a little more brisk pace. We'll be working through all of the intensity levels as we typically do, but just using some faster cadences. This cadence is a word. So as we set out, I'd like you to take a few minutes with easy resistance. And we're aiming for close to 90 RPMs. So as I look at the YouTube watches, it looks like a lot of you are the same writers. I wish we could all get in the same room together sometime, or at least on the same screen. But you know, right? You know all the basics, all the things. But I always feel like I wanna go over the basics again during the warm up for anybody new. So let's just work on a little bit of familiarity with cycle technique and posture. The most important thing we can do is put our sitting bones over the back of the saddle. Do not scoot too far forward and not tuck our tailbone under. You wanna feel like you're kind of on the front of your sitting bones. The sitting bones are these round shaped bones underneath you. Imagine them being like little golf balls and you're on the front of the, of the golf ball. This ride will take you through two stages, easy up to breathless, twice. And then we will be on our way. So from the sitting bones, I'd like you to just move forward of that spot just a little bit and lift your perineum, the pelvic floor, the muscles underneath you. Kind of cinch those up a little bit. Feel yourself being a little bit lighter, a little bit lengthened, tall, expanded, not so heavy in the saddle. We're stri striving for 90 RPMs. Not striving, what's the word I want? Aiming, aiming for 90 RPMs. The resistance on the wheel is light, but you still feel a little bit of resistance. You feel that circle. So we've got the sitting bones, we've got the pelvic floor lifted. Engage your low belly. Pull in the muscles between the front, the front hip bones. Just those muscles below the waistband. Pull those babies up. Let's pick up the pace, bring it up to closer to 100 RBMs. As we get to this faster pace, give me just a little more resistance. Let's see if we can feel moderate intensity. Moderate is about a seven on a scale of one to 10. So not too much resistance, but enough that it starts to feel like work. So we've got the pelvis where it needs to be. The core is engaged. From there, will you just lift up for me? 
Imagine your tailbone pointing to the back wall and the crown of your head to the ceiling. Pull those two points away from each other. Try not to let your shoulders come up, but let them stay down. Make that long line of the spine. I've got a little challenge for you here. Add a little bit more resistance, keep your pace. Ready? We're gonna get up, run it out. Try to stay loose, stay strong through your core. And back to the saddle. Resituate everything. Sitting bones, tailbone, pelvic floor, low abs. Try it again, come on up here. Spine is one long line. Back to the saddle. Shooting for something close to 100 RPMs. Tall spine. Now, move on to the shoulders. Let's relax the shoulders. Stand with me one more time. Come on up. Little rolling hills. Four. Three, two, and one. Have a seat. So the good news is every song in this ride is short. They're all around three, three and a half minutes. So we're gonna move through this pretty quickly. All right, the stage is getting harder. Add some resistance to the wheel. We're gonna try to keep ourselves pedaling quickly, close to 90. This is gonna feel like you are moving into a strong headwind. You're sitting light in the saddle. Your shoulders are on your back. Try to open up your chest. Instead of caving down like this, try to pull your chest forward. It's strange because your arms are forward, so your chest kind of wants to retreat. But see if you can pull your chest forward, belly up and through. Shoulders on your back. So then what happens is we put our shoulder blades on our back. We pull the chest forward, but then the neck kind of wants to crank. So keep your chin tucked just a little bit, like you're looking at the road right in front of your bike. You're kind of just scanning the road in front of the wheel, maybe six or seven feet in front of the wheel. So that will keep your neck in a comfortable line with your spine. Are you feeling hard effort now? Hard effort is about an eight. So if you're not feeling challenged here, keep 90, but give yourself a little more on the wheel. Lift up and out of that low back. The elbows remain soft and the hands stay light on the handlebars. So we've gone from the sitting bones up through the head and down through the fingers. That part of your body should all feel comfortable. 
lifted and strong. We've got about a minute here, friends. In a minute, I'm gonna ask you to give me hard resistance. We'll slow it down a bit and we'll get up out of the saddle. We'll climb our way to the top of a short hill and that will be the end of stage one. All right? So I want you to get ready to feel the struggle, feel breathless, and then recovery is right on the other side of that. For now, stay with 90, stay tall, stay strong. The knees are in line with the feet and the knees are relaxed. Let your muscles do the work. Let your joints move. They're just a hinge. Ankles are relaxed. Toes are relaxed. Ball of the foot on the pedal. Get ready for resistance. Turn your knob to the right. Legs slow to 75. Everything else stays the same. For the remaining three minutes of this stage, I will ask you to stand, to find some strength here, to check with your breath, to be present, to feel healthy, full, strong. Once you get out of this saddle, nothing changes. The position is just like if you were sitting tailbone pointing back, pelvic floor lifted, abs in, spine tall, shoulders relaxed, elbows bent, hands light. I'm challenging you now to keep 75 RPMs as you add some resistance. We've got a couple more minutes. You're right up on the edge. You can hear my breathing. I'm hoping yours sounds the same. Can you feel the muscles of your legs? They're the workers. Keep breathing, keep feeling. You know what you're doing. Try to keep that neck in line with the spine. Stay with me here, one more minute. Close your eyes, choose a word that inspires you right here. Love, power, strength, success, joy. What word propels you forward? You got it. Woo. Almost there. Recovery coming up. Oh yeah. Oh. Have a seat. Woo. Great job. If you sound like this, you are doing the right thing. Turn the knob to the left. 
come back to easy. Easy resistance, 80 RPMs. Pull it down, shake it off. 80 to 85. We're here for about three minutes. This is the end of stage one. It's also the beginning of stage two. I've been trying to figure out the timing and I realized as I look at the second half of my paper that I have misled you. We actually have three stages. Three stages. I kept looking at, it's only been 15 minutes. What, How, is the second stage that much longer? No, three short stages. We are at the end of stage one, at the beginning of stage two. Same thing, three songs. Hard, moderate, breathless. So find your recovery breath. All right, so through that first, first stage, I put a lot of emphasis on form, technique, body alignment. My goal is always to help my students just have a real confidence, a solid knowledge of how to ride well and ride safe. So as we move to stage number two, we're gonna switch gears to a little more subtle layer of our being, our breath, our prana. Prana is the word for life force, our energy. You can picture yourself as just, you know, you really are just a light bulb. There's plenty of electricity running to you. You've got a dimmer switch. And sometimes that energy is a little low and sometimes it's really bright. So as we make our way to moderate intensity, stage two, this will be the slowest song of the ride. So I want you to give me gear, give me resistance to help you find 60 RPMs. And when you're ready, let's go for a walk right here. So that probably feels good, huh? After all that fast riding, getting out of the saddle and just letting your body weight rock from pedal to pedal. Close your eyes and start to tune in to the level of energy your light bulb has. Now that we've been going for about 20 minutes, if you started this ride with the dimmer switch down, a little sleepy, lethargic, tired, just see if even 20 minutes has helped you raise that dimmer switch a little bit. Breath, energy, a little brighter, a little higher. Number one, 
question and complaint I get in fitness is, I never really feel like working out. How do you make yourself feel like working out? You know the answer. The answer is work out. <laughs> moving your body is the only thing that makes you feel like moving your body. It's a conundrum, isn't it? And then people say, well, it's hard. It's hard to get up off the couch. It's hard to get out of bed. It's hard to make myself work like this after a, a long day of work. And to that I would answer, yes, it is hard. And so is obesity. And so is diabetes. And so is insomnia. And so is chronic stress. They're all hard. You're just choosing your hard. And I choose this hard. I choose this hard. The fact that you're here with me tells me you're choosing your hard as well. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Breathe a little deeper. Settle your hips. Try to keep the resistance where it is. Just try as we speed up to 80 RPMs. Eighty-five RPMs, and if you want to let a little bit off, you can. We're gonna try to hover here for two and a half minutes. Hard effort. Here is your eight out of ten, right here, right here, baby. All right, close your eyes again and check in with your dimmer switch. It's kind of fun to notice that when we're working hard, that dimmer switch is pushing brighter. Our energy is actually more clear, more light, more bright. So don't get confused with the feeling of tired legs because that effort, that feeling is creating brighter, higher energy. Hard work elevates our energy. It helps us burn brighter. You are stimulating your brain to think more clearly. You're stimulating your lungs to breathe more efficiently. You're stimulating your heart to beat more powerfully. And you're certainly stimulating your muscles to be stronger. All systems elevated right here. And yes, it is hard. But so is being tired all the time and having that dimmer switch all the way down all the time. That's hard. Choose your hard. Wiggle your toes inside of your shoes. 
All right, we're going to our breathless zone. Recovery right around the corner from this one. We're gonna try to keep 80 RPMs. Do your best to keep resistance on the wheel. You are well past your halfway mark. Life is good. You have got this. Stand with me. Four, three, two, have a seat. Keep your cadence. Relax that upper body. Light burning bright. Stand up. Hips are touching the saddle. Four, three, two, one. You're down. Eighty RPMs. Resistance on that wheel. This is hard effort. Stand. Four, three, two, one. You're down. Come on. Chest forward, shoulders back. Put it all back in place. Let's brighten up that light. Up. Have a seat. Whew. How you feeling, friends? You got that light burning bright? Energy. Up we go. Hold on. Three, two, one, you are down. Sit tall. What do you say, one more of those? Let's go. Stand with me, come on. Woo. Burning calories, the light is bright. Energy up. Four, three, two. Come back down, my friends. Easy, not yet, not easy yet. It's easy to work hard is what I meant. <laughs> Whew. We're so close to recovery. Would it make you feel better if I told you stage three is the shortest of the three? All right. Resistance back down to easy. Sit tall for a moment, grab some water. You can bring your leg speed down to 70 RPMs. Easy resistance. Breathe deep. Whew. All right, so we rode one stage physical alignment, body positioning. We rode one stage energetic, prana, energy, brightness. Let's ride stage three from our emotional body. And in yoga, uh, it describes our, us as having five layers. The third layer of ourselves is actually mental, emotional 
yoga puts both of those together because our thoughts and our emotions are so closely linked and they live close to each other in our brain. They affect each other always. So as we're finishing up this recovery, getting ready to start stage three, close your eyes. How's your body? What do you feel physically? What is your level of energy? What's the brightness on your light bulb? And just check in what thoughts are present. Any emotions here? Let me throw out a few emotions on the negative side or the not helpful side. Overwhelmed, frustrated, angry, unworthy, embarrassed. Um, weak, insufficient, you know, those aren't fun, but that's kind of where we live sometimes depending on the circumstance. Let's look at a, some potential positive emotions. The most powerful, of course, is love, joy, gratitude, fulfilled, centered, calm, happy. So just identify, first thing we always wanna do is just check in and see what's there and acknowledge, oh, I'm feeling this. We'll keep it at 70 with some more resistance. deep breaths so take whatever emotion just showed up it all gets to be here feel that stand up hips touch the saddle So in the practice of emotional intelligence, being aware of your emotions, giving yourself the ability to feel emotions is a very powerful tool for yourself and your relationships. So it's really important that we identify, we name it, we face it, we feel it. And it's been said by many teachers, psychologists, that you gotta give yourself at least, well, give yourself 90 seconds to feel that. Really sit with the anger, sit with the overwhelm, sit with the frustration. And after 90 seconds, you're choosing to stay with that or to choose another emotion. My go-to is gratitude. After I give myself 90 seconds, sometimes I indulge two minutes in feeling the upset. If I can consciously grab the emotion of gratitude, I feel an immediate change, an immediate physical shift in my body. I'm writing a different story and I'm being present to the thing that was causing me the upset from a different perspective. Gratitude always invites me to look up and look around and realize that regardless of what's happening, I'm okay. I'm okay. And more often than not, 
not just okay, but actually pretty darn good. It's just this thing. It's just this thing, right? Have a seat. Try your best to keep that resistance on the wheel. We'll pull into the next song a little bit faster. I am gonna take a little bit off because I'm gonna ask you for closer to 100 RPMs. We've got a little less than three minutes right here. Hard effort. Close your eyes, feel this. Your body is set, your energy is bright. You're making the effort. Check in. Thoughts and feelings. If what you notice isn't helpful, give it a notice, acknowledge, and then choose something more helpful. Another powerful emotion is commitment. I'm committed to finishing this ride powerfully. And that commitment pulls me out of whatever negative thing I was experiencing. Commitment. Dedication. Determination. Patience. Choose one. Ride hard. We've got about a minute. How close can you push your dial to 100 RPMs? Deep breaths. Powerful legs. Bright light. Keep it going. If there's a word over on that helpful side of emotions, keep it. Repeat it over and over in your mind or out loud. When you find a word that really, really helps you, you need to put that on a sticky note and keep it on the front of your bike. A mantra, constant reminder of something helpful. Breathe deep. Hold on. Don't give up just yet. We have one more work song and then we'll do a very quick, very short pull down. If you have metrics in front of you, I'm going to invite you to choose a goal for this last song. It can be a distance goal. It can beat a previous distance on your console. It can be a calorie goal. It can be an intensity goal. Starting right now, we have four minutes. Four minutes to the finish line. I'm choosing to be right with the music at 90 RPMs. My goal is to beat my one minute highest power. So consistently in this section, I have to go harder than that for one minute. Set a goal. If you don't have metrics, set a goal anyway. What can you do for now three minutes to leave this ride proud of yourself, burning brighter, feeling better?
All right, friends, we are about at the halfway mark of this challenge. I'm gonna get out of the saddle. I'm gonna try to hold close to 90. I met my goal. So now I'm just gonna hold on to the finish line. How about you? Do you wanna set another goal? How's your physical body, your breath, your energy? your mind, your emotions. How's your whole self as you approach the finish line? Set a goal, meet it or beat it. Woo. We have another minute. And we were born for this, friends. All right, let's get up, come on. Set a goal, meet it or beat it. Believe it, you were born for this. Okay, friends, resistance dials down. We made it to the finish line. Sit tall. Whew, you sound like that, you did the right thing. All right, just let your legs slow. And sitting up, you get a nice beginning stretch in your hip flexors. Ribs lift up away from hips. Shoulders up by your ears, roll them back and down, reach behind you. Just let your hands fly behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chin. Congratulations. Reach your arms out. Press back. Find a little more chest. Legs slow down. Bring your elbows up to goal post, press back, and then squeeze your elbows down and lift them up. Move those shoulder blades on your back. Breathe deep, feel deeply. Be proud of yourself. Go ahead and release your feet from your cages or clips. Come to one side of your bike. Grab a hold of a handlebar and a seat and stretch your hips back. Let this stretch hamstrings, glutes, belly, shoulders, and chest. Fill with breath and empty. Go ahead and come to stand. Switch one hand on the seat, one hand on the handlebar. And then pull your chest and belly forward. Probably the most important stretch we can do after being rounded over is opening up the front of the body. Well, I hope you feel better than when we started physically, energetically, emotionally, and mentally. The only thing we didn't tap into was our spiritual body. And I believe that that is brighter as we leave our bikes as well. Enjoy being a little more whole, a little more healthy, a little more happy. I will see you next time.